Good morning children. So today we are going to start a new topic and the topic is isosceles triangles. So here firstly try to understand when do we say a triangle is a uh, is an isosceles triangle. Okay. So here I have written a definition. A triangle with two sides equal is called an isosceles triangle. Or you can also say that if in a triangle two angles are equal then the triangle is said to be an isosceles triangle. So what you are supposed to do is in your maths copy you will give the heading as isosceles triangles and you will write down these things okay. So here okay so after writing this definition you will write this note in the first note here it's trying to say that if you have a triangle and you know that two sides of the given triangle is equal like here you can see in this triangle ABC here I know that AB is equal to AC okay AB is equal to AC so if these two sides are equal so in that case the opposite angles are going to be equal okay like here I have written it down that if AB is equal to AC then opposite angles that is angle B is equal to angle C okay so you will write this note 1 and thereafter you will copy note 2 so here it says if two angles of triangle are equal the sides opposite angles are also equal. So if you have been given a triangle and you could observe that that in the given triangle two angles are equal like here in this triangle ABC I can see that this angle B okay and this angle C these two are equal. So since they are equal then the opposite sides are going to be equal that means AB is going to be equal to AC okay so you are going to write down these things okay so done till here now we will proceed to exercise 8B okay they will solve very few questions okay because only concept is needed over here of the isosceles triangle okay so we are going to see a few questions from isosceles triangle from exercise 8b okay okay children now let us see exercise 8b okay and here straight we are going to start from question number 6 here it says find the lettered angles in each of the following figures so firstly I'm going to consider this one so here you can see we are looking for one second so okay so in question one here we need to find the value for x and y okay and in this figure we have been given this angle to be 40 degree this whole angle is 84 and this AB okay can you see this AB is parallel to CD okay since AB is parallel to CD so in that case this angle 40 will be equal to this angle okay so these two are the alternate opposite angles okay so for that reason these two angle will be equal so here this is 40 so this will be also 40 and if this is 40 then this angle has to be 
44 degree. The reason is because the whole angle was 84 and since AB is parallel to CD, so we came to know that this is 40 degree. Okay. So if this is 40 degree, then this has to be 44. Now next thing is in triangle ACE, okay, you can see AC is equal to AE. That means this triangle ACE is an isosceles triangle. So in that case, just now we have studied that if two sides are equal, then the opposite angles are going to be equal. That means this angle X will be equal to this angle. Okay. So that means this angle is also X. So now for this triangle ACE, we have got three, triang uh, three angles X, X and 44. That means x plus x plus 44 is equal to 180 degree that means 2x plus 44 is equal to 180 okay now you can see that each are divisible by 2 so i can divide so i'm getting this so now i will get x is equal to 180 minus So here we are dividing, so this will become 90. So 90 minus 22, okay, 68 degree. So your x is coming 68 degree. Now we are supposed to find y. So you see that y is in the, this triangle A, B, E, for which you know this angle 40. This one is y, but you don't know this, okay. But since we have found x equal to 68 degree, you can find this angle, okay? Because these two angles, x and this angle, are on straight line. So, this angle will be 180 minus x, okay? So, 180 minus x means 180 minus 68, okay? So, you will get 112. So, 112 over here. Now you can easily find y, 40 plus 112, that would be 152, okay. So this would be 28 degree, okay. So this is how we are going to find. So this was just explanation. Now I will do the writing part for you, okay. So let me rub this. Okay, now let us see the solution. So this was your one solution. Given AB is parallel to AB is parallel to CD, then angle CDE is equal to angle EAB that is equal to 40 degree okay now Now you can see this angle, angle C A B means this whole angle, angle C A B is equal to 84 degree. Now you can write this angle C A B as sum of angle C A E plus angle E A B is equal to 84 degree. Here you can see angle C A E is not known to you but angle E A B is 40 degree so you can substitute that value So this is equal to 
44 degree okay so you got this angle 44 done now let us see uh, this triangle ACE so we'll write now in triangle ACE so in triangle ACE you can see that AC is equal to AE this is given to us yes therefore triangle ACE is an isosceles triangle okay and then then the opposite angles okay so here opposite angle means this and this okay are going to be equal so angle ACE equal to angle AEC is equal to x degree now so this has become x degree so you know sum of the angles of a triangle equal to 180 so now x plus x plus 44 degree okay will be equal to 180 degree this implies 2x degree plus 44 degree equal to 180 degree now you can see each term is divisible by 2 so I get x degree plus 22 degree is equal to 90 so x degree is equal to 90 minus 22 so x is equal to 68 okay so we got the value of x now we are looking for value of y and for that I need to find this angle first because this angle is already known to me that is 40 degree y alternate angles so here I forgot to write reason since alternate angles or simply alternate angles you can write alternate angles okay here firstly I need to find this angle okay so x is 68 now what would be this angle okay so you know that total angle is 180 okay so you can easily find this angle clear so now I'll write angle AEB will be equal to next angle angle AEB will be equal to 180 minus 68 degree that will be equal to 112 degree okay now in triangle AEB okay we have we have 40 degree plus 112 degree plus y is equal to 180 degree okay so this implies y is equal to 180 minus 40 degree plus 112 degree so 180 minus 152 so this will come 28 degree okay therefore x equal to 68 and y equal to 28 
This is the answer. Okay, children, now let us see the question number two. Okay, so here we are looking for the value of x and y. Okay, so here you can see for this triangle A, B, C. Okay, I am talking about this triangle. Okay, so here you can see that AB is equal to AC. Since this, these two sides are equal, that then the opposite angles are going to be equal. That means this angle will be equal to this angle. So this is already 2x, so this will be also 2x. Okay. So here 2x, here 2x, here x. So total sum will be how much? 5x. And that has to be equal to 180. So you can simply find your x. Okay. And once you know your x, what you can do is, here you can see that AB is parallel to CD. So in that case, this angle will be equal to this angle, alternate angles. Okay. So this will be also X. So X plus Y plus 88 will be again 180 and therefore you can find Y. Okay. So solution. Triangle. A, B, C is an isosceles triangle, okay. You can give the region since A, B is equal to A, C, okay. Since it is an isosceles triangle, and so angles opposite to the equal sides are going to be equal. Therefore, angle ABC will be equal to angle ACB equal to 2x. Okay. So these two angles are equal. Now we have to take the sum of the angles of this triangle. So now 2x plus 2x plus x will be equal to 180 degree. That means 5x is equal to 180 degree. This implies x is equal to 180 divided by 5. So 5 3 is a 15 remainder 3. So 5 6 is a 30. So 36 degree is x. So we got the value for x now you can see that a b is parallel to c d so therefore this x will be equal to this angle okay so alternate angle so here i will write next angle sorry angle a c d is equal to x region is alternate angles okay and you can write a b is parallel to c d okay this is the reason so this implies angle a c d is equal to 36 degree Now, in triangle ACD, so in ACD, we will have 36 degree plus Y plus 88 degree is equal to 180, okay. So, Y is equal to 180 minus 36 degree plus 88 degree so here you have 36 plus 88 so 88 and here 36 8 plus 6 14 9 plus 3 12 
so 124 degree now you have to subtract so from 10 you have to subtract 4 so 6 and from 7 so you get 56 degree okay therefore x is equal to 36 and y is equal to 56 so you got the answer okay children so we have done two questions now this this will be your homework okay so here you are supposed to find the value for x and y so here you can see that in triangle b d c this d c is equal to d b so you can easily see that these two sides are equal so therefore this x and this angle will be equal so that means this will be also x so x plus x 2x and plus 108 will be equal to 180 so therefore you can find x and this angle will be 180 minus 108 okay and then you can see in triangle a b d these two sides a b and d b are equal therefore this angle okay and this angle are going to be equal okay so therefore you can find y also so 3 is your homework 4 is also your homework try by yourself okay so in this case you can see this is x this is 2x so here you can see in this triangle a c d okay in triangle a c d you can see that a c is equal to c d therefore this angle and this angle are going to be equal that means this is also 2x okay so if this is 2x and this is 2x okay so this will be 180 minus 4x okay therefore this will be also 4x okay now in triangle a b c okay this a b and a c are equal so this is also 4x now you can find value of x using this triangle okay so these two are your homework now let us see question number seven okay so i'll just discuss with you the writing part will be your homework okay so here they are saying that lm is equal to ln that means this lm is equal to ln so therefore this angle will be equal to this angle now what is the value for this angle here you can see it is 110 and this is a straight line so if this is 108 uh, sorry 110 then this has to be 70 degree okay so this is 70 therefore this is 70 now you know these two angles so you can easily find this angle this will be your 40 degree okay so here they are asking for angle lmn so lmn 70 and angle l uh, sorry angle mln mln is 40 okay so this is how you are going to do uh, i have explained to you the writing part is your okay now see question number nine this also i'll explain writing part should be done by you so here what you will do is see here you got triangle a b c here you can see a b is equal to a c therefore therefore this angle and this angle are going to be equal that means this is 52 degree okay if this is 52 and this is also 52 this has to be 180 minus sum of these two okay sum of these two will be 104 degree okay so 180 minus 104 will come 76 degree so you got this 76 now next is saying that this ab is parallel to c therefore 76 and here also 76 alternate angles now you know this is 76 so you can easily find this angle why because this total should be 180 okay so this will be 104 degree okay so this is your homework i have explained to you writing part should be done by you okay 
now see question number 10 here it's given that ab is equal to ac this ab is equal to ac that means this angle and this angle I'm going to say opposite angles are going to be equal and plus they are saying that this AD is parallel to BC that means this 70 degree and this angle okay equal alternate angle so this is 70 and since ABC is isosceles so 70 here so 70 here okay now you know two angles third angle can be found very easily this will be 40 degree so you got the angle BAC 40 degree okay writing part has to be done by you okay and from this exercise we'll leave it till here okay we'll not do much questions from here okay so main motive was to understand the concept of isosceles triangle okay